an analysis of I2 by Langston Hughes. I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow I'll be at the table when company comes. Nobody'll dare say to me, eat in the kitchen then. Besides, they'll see how beautiful we are and be ashamed. I too am America. To begin with, the tone of this poem is realistic but hopeful. Langston Hughes uses several quotes to paint a picture for a hopeful tomorrow, especially since this poem was written at a time where racial segregation was normal. Throughout the poem, we notice some important quotes, such as, eat in the kitchen, and when company comes. And this is quite common for the time period in which this poem was written in, and illustrates that many people of color were not allowed into establishments where their white counterparts would be doing the same exact thing. Regardless of this, the narrator used quotes such as, they'll see, and tomorrow I'll be at the table, to illustrate the hopefulness that is described in this poem. Let's dive a little deeper into segregation. The quote, eat in the kitchen, relates back to the Jim Crow laws which legalized discrimination. Many people of color were prohibited from eating or drinking with white people. The people of color were sick of the segregation, but are still hopeful for a better tomorrow where people are ashamed of themselves. Another historical connection between the two poems is exhibited in Walt Whitman's I Hear America Singing. In this poem, he illustrates how each American contributes individually and uniquely to what it means to be American, regardless of gender. And this suggests equal recognition, which is also shown in I Too Sing America. A quote that we can look at here is, each singing what belongs to him or her and to no one else. And what this suggests is that gender here is not an issue. This can compare to I Too Sing America where color is an issue. Let's take a step back and look at a different idea. To do this, we'll look at the quote, I am the darker brother, and we'll compare it to W.E.B. Du Bois's work, where double consciousness is clearly shown. Two warring ideals in one dark body suggest that there's a difference between being an American and being a Negro. Hughes comments on this, and it shows there's a constant awareness of being a person of color and this is shown in our poem, where the narrator is showing that there is a separate treatment between white people and people of color. In conclusion, the poem I Too by Langston Hughes exhibits several trends and patterns that have been seen in different works by different authors in the same time period. Though they may not be arguing the same thing, they still exhibit some form of double consciousness as well as equality. And this is shown in our poem, I Too, by Langston Hughes. The tone of hopefulness is clearly exhibited in our poem and shows that the people of color during that time were very hopeful for a better future. Thank you for listening to our quick analysis of I Too by Langston Hughes.